heartfelt respect from my side. This is a good friend of mine, his name is Alexei Kishkin, and we are in Vimdalen in Sweden, north of Stockholm, skiing in 2002. And, uh, well, you are of a slightly different generation than, than uh, most of you, than I, but I can tell you that when I grew up, Russia was not something that you admired in Finland. Uh, for generations we had uh, fought, fought most of our wars against them, and, and the, the stories I heard from my parents and, and, and uh, my grandmother were not entirely full of, of, of respect. Uh, if these guys were not uh, killing us, then at least uh, uh, we had sayings like a, a, a Russian remains a Russian even if you fry him in butter. Well, all Finns know about these things. And my first own exposure to the Russian culture was also not very much likely to, um, for me to gain respect towards Russia. It, when traveling to what then still was Leningrad, you could trade jeans or plastic bags from Valintatalo against hard currency, and, and uh, uh, that uh, type of transaction didn't, didn't uh, grow my admiration for Russian culture. No, uh, those were mostly men. There were also women approaching us, and uh, their trade either was not conducive to me, uh, uh, changing my, my basically fairly negative uh, opinion of, of uh, Russia. Well, I am deeply thankful to the MySQL journey for, for changing that. So, to, for me, it started to change around this year, 2001, uh, we started to recruit our first Russian developers, and 2002, I met uh, many of them for the first time in Vemdalen, only to realize that these guys were like me. They were no different. Well, of course, they were somewhat different. They had different clothing and they didn't wear gloves when they were skiing and they hadn't even skied on a slalom slope before and, and uh, they were sometimes hard to understand. But they could laugh about uh, very much the same jokes. They were also drinking and they even uh, admired our drinking songs. And I discovered more and more commonalities with them. Soon enough, I realized that these guys know much more about high culture than most of us do, than I did. So they knew, they, they for instance, were uh, happy when I knew who Ilya Repin was, when I knew about a couple of the Russian composers, when I knew something about Russian um, uh, literature. They all know everything about that. They can quote long lines from uh, various types of, of literary uh, production, whereas I cannot quote Fendrik Stoll saying that. Their, their, their level of culturedness is much deeper than that what I have grown up with. So the, the epitome for me in earning respect for what I previously thought of as the most different thing that there could be, i.e. Russians, was in Teriyoki or Zelenogorsk in Russia. It was no coincidence that we met there in February 2004 uh, it was for cost reasons, but it was also uh, a part that was, for historic reasons, important. It, this was the, the eastern, or is the easternmost uh, part of Finland prior to World War II. And, and we were there, sitting there, many Ukrainians, many Russians, uh, many Finns, and a couple of, of Swedes, talking about what had happened 70 years earlier, and doing so in a peaceful way, which, well, again, it might sound pompous or pathetic, but, but it had a, a profound impact in, 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 in changing my thinking about human beings in general. And then, subsequent to this, uh, through my SQL, I was exposed to people working from so many different uh, countries and regions of the world where I previously had thought that, well, they might be nice for tourism, but they're not for creating IT. Well, now I know better. Now I know different. And again, uh, let me remind you that uh, I grew up in a generation different from those, that generation that, that, that you now represent. We were very much 
we might be xenophobic in Finland still, but that uh, our exposure to, to different culture was tiny earlier on. And through my scale, I have a, I'm very thankful of, of being able to, to understand these things. So the lesson here is that uh, everyone is different. We can still respect it. This is a picture from uh, a bath in Budapest during a company meeting in 2003. And okay, we might all look very different. It's usually uh, fairly light-skinned males here, but but uh, towards, especially towards the later parts of my scale, this would no longer have been ethnically representative of of my scale. And and I think there's more than just respect to it.